My name is Kyle Ramage, and I competed in the United States Barista Championship. I placed first this year, and I did utilize a somewhat experimental freezing and grinding process. I took a specialty coffee, and I froze it with dry ice, and it did improve the flavor. Coffee is incredibly fragile. If you've seen like roasted coffee and you've like maybe dropped them on the table a few times, like just coffee seeds, beans, whatever, uh, they sound kind of hollow and they're they're kind of light, uh, they're kind of brittle. So if you like push on them with your thumb, they'll actually kind of crack and explode and break into a ton of little pieces. So that's basically what happens when you grind coffee: is that you crush it into a bunch of smaller pieces so that you can dissolve those solids into a liquid, which is what we drink as coffee, right? Once you take coffee past, say, negative 50 degrees Celsius, it becomes extremely fragile. And because of this extreme fragility, it breaks up in the grinder more consistently. So what that means for me, all the little particles were more the same size, which just meant that they extracted into solution easier and with more flavor clarity. The coffee I used was also exceptionally delicious, well over $100 a pound roasted. So you're not going to, just going to be able to put coffee, freeze it with dry ice, and then put it in the freezer, and it's going to make your coffee taste sweeter every time. So the, it is this work between art and science. People always say, like, how do I get a great cup of coffee or a great espresso? I say, find a local cafe that you know that does great coffee and continue to support them so they can keep their doors open so they can continue to make amazing coffee for you.